So this is 10 top tier affordable budget knives. Starting the list off, we're gonna get through these really quick. This is the Vosteed Raccoon with the crossbar lock. Now they do have this in a button lock, if that's your style. Now the button lock is not gonna be as strong as a crossbar lock. So, and they do a really good job with their crossbar lock. It, it seems very tough, very strong. Great detent. This is a fantastic blade shape in 14C28N. This is orange, but there's all different kinds of handle materials. You can get the mic micarta, green micarta. Everything will be linked down in the description. So it has a deep carry clip that's inset and reversible. So this is very ambidextrous, right or left hand carry. Um, same thing with this one. But anyways, yeah, the Vosteed Raccoon, fantastic knife for EDC. That's pretty affordable. Next we have the Kaiser Lieb M. Now there is the mini, if you, if you like a little compact knife, or maybe you wanna get a knife for, for your lady friend or something, or maybe you just like small knives because this is an amazing small knife. Super snappy. This knife has possibly the best action on a knife as far as deployment goes. I, it is so, so snappy. Like you expect this type of action on like a thousand dollar knife. It's insane. So this one has 154 CM, I believe. No, sorry, this one's N690. This is 154CM. So this is the, the N690, and it does come in different versions as well. But the Lieb M, button lock, a lot bigger, um, and, and bigger in every dimension. So what it does is it gets you a small, compact, yet extremely, extremely comfortable grip. It is so ergonomic. Deep carry clip that's in set and reversible. Again, this is gonna be another very ambidextrous knife for right or left hand users. You know, a right hand person's just gonna use their thumb, a left hand person's just gonna use their pointer finger. So the blade shape is a sheep's foot blade. It's gonna be fantastic for EDC. And they have some of the best quality micarta for the money. I, I believe it's USA made micarta. Next, you know, sticking with Kaiser really quick, we have the Kaiser Mad Tonto, another top tier knife for the money. This is a damned designs design. <laughs> and again, this, well, no, this one's not gonna be ambidextrous as far as the clip goes, but as far as the action goes, it is, but the clip is only right-hand carry. It is inset with flat screws. This one has kind of like the Lieb uh, M, very, very snappy, good flipping action. I heard one person say that theirs didn't come with the best action, but that was only one person. Um, you can hear mine. This thing cranks out. Anyways, this blade shape is a drop point Tonto in 154CM with a dual grind. It's a very versatile Tonto. If you like the look of Tontos, but you want them to be a little bit more useful, try one of these, because you can use the secondary tip and the primary tip. And this hollow grind area will help trap materials in it. Nice forward finger choil, Beautiful plunge grind and sharpening tool. You're going to get a lot of life out of that sharpening it. And again, the, the quality of the micarta is right there. Next, we'll come back to Kaiser's in a second. This is the Civivi Cubit, and uh, I've been raving about this knife. This is my new favorite lightweight EDC knife. It is so, it's two and a half ounces, a solid aluminum scales. This is like 65 bucks, 14C28N, and they put the 14C28N on exactly the type of blade you want, meaning the geometry is the razor thin, which is exactly what 14C was designed for. Extremely thin geometry, which is gonna help you one cut even when it's dull because you know the geometry cuts and it's going to help you sharpen it up really fast because it has such a thin edge very very thin behind the edge so phenomenal um, geometry and blade for this steel and super fidgety this one is ambidextrous um, right or left hand carry inset deep carry clip with flat screws the sharp and and plunge grind's done really well. They left you plenty of life to sharpen off, especially because it's so thin. And this blade shape, this thing is so, so useful. Um, yeah, I, I can't get enough of this knife. I have two of them. And then check this out. It has a little bottle opener on it. I don't think that was intentional, but it works really, really good. We're gonna have to go back to a couple more Kaisers. This is the Kaiser Towser S. Now there is the Towser K, which is the large version. Look at this action. 
This thing has stupid good action. Kaiser, man, they kill it with their action. Um, it does have a deep carry clip, not in set, but it is reversible and adjustable, so you can adjust how deep you want it in the pocket. The thumb stud action is amazing, very, very ergonomic. 154 CM blade steel on the sheep's foot blade, complete guillotine on multi-row ceramic caged bearings. But then we come to this one. This is more of a compact one, um, but still phenomenal action. They, they definitely brought the same action over to this smaller compact version. Um, nice sharpening choil and plunge grind. Also a nice forward finger choil. Uh, the blade shape's gonna work really good for EDC. Fantastic access to the lock bar. Stupid, stupid smooth. Not reversible deep carry clip, but it is a deep carry clip, at least right hand carry. But the detent, man, this thing is so crispy. You feel really good flicking this thing out, but yeah, very compact yet uh, palm filling. And yeah, it's gonna be a, a great EDC as long as you like like the chubby little knives. Let's get to some more Kaisers. The Kaiser Escort, one of my most recommended knives right now for $89. I'm not sure how long this sale is gonna last. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gone by the, by the end of the night or maybe by tomorrow morning. I'm not sure, but Right now, this exact version with the with the micarta scales, 154 cm, beautiful drop point blade with an adjustable crossbar lock. So this one you can adjust the tension on it if you want the detent to be stronger. It comes out of the box perfect, but you can make it stronger or lighter if you want. Super duper ergonomic. Now, while we're talking about this, I might as well talk about this one too because the drop bear is only going for $95 right now instead of I think 115 is what it normally goes for. 154 cm aluminum handles looks really good. Again, the same adjustable crossbar lock. They call it the clutch lock. So these are going for a little bit of a deal right now and are some of my favorite Kaisers ever and some of my most recommended knives of the year. I've recommended this knife probably more than any other knife this year just because it is that good. It really, really is. I can't, if you're just wondering like what knife should I get just to have a good knife by my side that's going to last, that's, that's going to be a great cutter and just work really good and be tough, check out one of these. Now this one does come in a more premium option that's I think like $20 cheaper than normal right now. Normally I think it was like 180. I think it's going for like 160 right now or something. Um, and this one's in 20 CV with aluminum handles. So they do have the premium option if that's what you want. And this one also comes in premium options from the titanium one with LC200N. You can see I got all kinds of them. <laughs> or you can get the fat carbon fiber and LMAX. So they come in lots of different versions, but this is the one I most recommend. I honestly do. It's so good just the way it is from the base model. You don't even need to upgrade. So I did narrow this down to 10 knives. I could have done a 20 list or a 30 list because there are so many amazing affordable knives. I'm trying to grab the knives that I feel like you're getting the most out of your money as far as under $100 goes. This is the Sencut Serene. Under 50 bucks, one of, in my opinion, the best a knife under 50 bucks that you can get. D2 steel, that's how they kept the price down. However, it has super thin geometry. So this thing's gonna be easy to sharpen, it's gonna sharpen up quick, and it's gonna pass through materials really, really well. And Sencut doesn't do a bad job with their D2. Sencut and Civivi do a decent job with their D2. Then we move back here, and it has a solid aluminum handle. Yes, yeah, solid. No liners. Nothing on the inside, just complete solid aluminum scales. So it's gonna keep this thing very light and tough. And also corrosion resistant as far as the handle goes. Uh, deep carry clip, not in set, but it does have flat screws and it is reversible. It has the button lock action and a button lock action that you expect from Civivi, Sen Cut and Wii. They have mastered the button lock. They really have. They do such a good job with their button lock. Nice, solid lockup, very fidgety, great detent for a button lock. Uh, the sharpening tool and plunger end could be a little bit better, but you're gonna get a couple sharpenings out of that just because it's so thin behind the edge, because this thing, it, it is crazy slicey. But yeah, for under 50 bucks, man, this thing is very hard to beat as far as materials, fit, finish, and tolerance goes, and just, you know, just overall awesomeness. The Civivi Elementum button lock. I know this one, this one's starting to get old at this point. Not old, but you know, it's been out for like, what, a year or two or something. 
I can't stop recommending it. Um, yes, it's a gravity knife, so you know, I don't think legally it's considered a gravity knife, but it is a gravity knife for sure. You have to use gravity to open it. So you push the button and you swing it open, it locks open and it locks closed. But uh, brown micarta scales, it comes in different colors. This one's brown, there's also other colors. 14C 28N spear point hollow ground blade, super duper thin. And again, like we were talking about earlier with the geometry, 14C does really good with this nice thin geometry. And this handle with the blade, they complement each other so well. This is like a knife you, you feel comfortable wielding. I've had so many knives where it's like I get them and then I try to make certain cuts and it just feels awkward in the hand or, or I, you know, I don't feel as safe as I could. This is a knife that you just, you feel super safe using and yeah, super duper solid. Uh, deep carry clip, not inset, but it does have flat screws and is reversible. T8 hardware all the way around. Beautiful sharp and twelve plunge grind. They did a phenomenal job with this. Now, this does come in other versions. There's smaller versions that are flippers instead of this button lock. There's, uh, there's button lock flippers and regular flippers that are on liner locks. There's all different kinds of versions of the Elementum. They even have fixed blade versions and so on and so on. Now, next one is a CJRB. One of my favorite CJRBs, this is the Echo. And I like this one a little bit more than the original Pyrite. We'll go into that here in one second, but because it's so ergonomic, this little pocket, this little spot back here where it swells out fits in your hand so comfortably. This blade shape's fantastic for EDC. It makes it to where you can use it in any direction. The button lock works really good. This is ambidextrous, so you can flip the clip to left hand carry if you want and then just use the button with your pointer finger. I like this one a lot because you have the hole deployment, which I really like a reverse or thumb flick, but then you also have this top flipper that's super duper fidgety. It works really, really good. And then the stainless steel handle, ARRPM9 steel, it's all metal construction. Now there is other versions of this. I think they even have a liner lock version, but as far as this version goes with the all metal, Man, it just, it feels very premium. You feel like you're holding like a titanium knife aside from, you know, it's maybe a quite a bit heavier, but they do mill out the scales quite a bit. So it does have, you know, a decent weight for what you're getting. The clip works so good in and out of the pocket because it's on the smooth stone washed finish. But yeah, I can't recommend this one enough either. This, like I said, one of my all time favorite ever CJRBs right here. Then let's talk about the Pyrite. So we got the Pyrite, you know the Pyrite Mini, and now we have the Pyrite XL. So this is the sheep's foot version. I know a lot of you are waiting for a sheep's foot version in the XL. I haven't heard of that coming. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I have no idea, but I will say that this, as far as the Pyrite goes, I personally like the, the Echo just a little bit more because it does add that front flipper and because of the ergonomics, like I said, is a phenomenal little knife. And it actually kind of does pinch grips just a little bit better because of this super pointy tip. It's very needle-like, so you get precision cutting with this. It is a button lock. Um, not, this one doesn't have the reversible clip. I'm not sure if my other ones do. I have so many of these. Um, this one's obviously the one with the G10 inlay, but there's a lot of different versions of this. There are so many different pyrites right now. Oh yeah, also you can get this one with this blade shape if you want, if you want the smaller one with the drop point blade, but the XL, or the large one, is probably my favorite one of the bunch right now. Some, something about it. It, it. Not only big, but because it's big, you, the sound, it sounds so cool. This metal handle or stainless steel handle, lots of milling on the inside, but it is weighty. But me, or to me, it feels so good in the hand. It, it feels like a large knife that you can wield like a small knife in a way, in a way. It's pretty big, so you know, maybe not like a super compact knife, but it, it's very easy to wield. And this beautiful drop point blade is gonna work good for most things. It is nice and slicey, and you know, it, it's super fidgety. And it just, you know, it's, it's a knife that to me, like the past, since I've had it for like the past week, I've been carrying the heck out of it. I just, it's so easy to grab. And so far, mine has held up really, really good. Um, you know, I haven't had it that long, so you'd expect that. But anyways, there's a lot of different versions of it. So if this big one's not your style and you want this exact one in a smaller version, you got it. Or if you want that same version with, with the sheep's foot blade in a hole, you got it. There are so many different options. So 
Work hard, stay tough. You guys know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.